<laughs> what the fuck? Now I talked about this when Twitch first announced this. A lot of content creators on Twitch and even viewers were very skeptical of how this tag system was going to be working. A lot of people were worried that there would be a lot of streamers who would abuse this system, kind of like how YouTubers abuse the algorithm through tags, titles, clickbait, descriptions like that. And I think everyone agreed in the community with how Twitch is approaching this system. It's pretty obvious it's not going to work. I'm sorry, but when you have a description for literally anything, about 90% of the viewer base that's on Twitch every day, they're so fucking lazy, they don't even click the following button, showing them the list of people that they follow. They just go to the top left and click the most viewed person that they're following. That's how lazy the community is. So in what fucking world do you think the average consumer of Twitch, the average viewer, Someone who is in the community is going to go through the effort of using this tag system, going into a specific category, and then using tags to find the person that they want to find. Now, don't get me wrong. If you had like 10 fucking tags, that would make sense. But holy shit. Even the recommended tags are pathetic. <laughs> there's so many things wrong with this tag system. And like I already said, there's so many tags. For example, the tag coloring. Can't that just go under art or design? The tag E3 is only going to be when E3 happens. Same with DreamHack and other events. Don't get me wrong, those tags are important, but I feel like they should only be available when the events are actually happening. Even fan art, I feel like this just shouldn't be its own tag. You're making it way too complicated to the point where even the creators themselves don't even want to use the fucking tags. The new IRL section is literally just called just chatting. Like I said, there are some good things to the system. For example, moving ASMR and body paint into their own categories was an amazing idea. It was a pretty obvious one, but still, it was really fucking annoying when I would go in the IRL section and 90% of the IRL section was just women doing ASMR streams and half of them barely had any fucking clothes on. <laughs> I don't know what Twitch is thinking. Replacing the communities tab was definitely a good idea. No one used that shit ever. But all you did was get rid of shit and replaced it with even worse shit. How you doing? It's your boy Eli, also known as Eli Unique. Eli Unique. Then you should be doing this. Alright. <laughs> It's kind of cool when you see some people stream, let's say for example, Overwatch, and then Twitch auto tags exactly what character you're playing. Stuff like that is cool. Something that's automated, it's unnecessary, but it's kind of cool. I understand their point was to help small streamers get bigger, making smaller communities or more specific communities so small streamers could build a community. So instead of having 50,000 streamers in the IRL section, let's say you were doing unboxing specifically, well, then you have that tag so people who only want to watch unboxings can search that up. Again, the problem is with most of these tags, they're so specific and half of them you're not even going to use and the other half are ones that you're going to go into maybe once or twice in your streaming career. I think the ideal situation is to bring back the IRL section or at least create non-gaming content. Have two sections, so gaming content and then non-gaming content. If you're in gaming, you have maybe five to ten tags. If you're in non-gaming, you have five to ten tags. But holy fuck, when you have like a hundred of these, this is ridiculous. Who's gonna use woodwork? Visual ASMR? What's the difference? Well, the good thing is if you hate your life, you're annoyed at how Twitch and YouTube is becoming, and you're just like, God damn, fuck this bullshit. Head over to goldmine.live. Actually, don't. It's, it just redirects to my Twitch right now. <laughs> it's in beta, or the beta is being made at least. Fuck. Also, if you want to support me and my channel, my content creation endeavors, you can check out my merch store over at golven.shop. Link is in the description. Use code TAGS for 25% off any Anything in the store. Offer ends a week after this video has been uploaded. Also, I have a new subscribe feature on YouTube, which is essentially just the same thing as Twitch. Nice job, YouTube. Or if you subscribe, you pay $4.99 a month. You get custom emotes. You get a badge telling you how long you've been subscribed to my channel. And obviously, it supports me financially. So in the end, Twitch fucked up again. What's new? But it's fine because I stream over at twitch.tv slash gold.